Um, hello. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're good. Today I'm here for a pretty short book review on Widow's Point by Richard and Billy Chismar. For those that don't know a little bit about our authors, I don't really know a lot about our authors, um, but Richard Chismar is a author that's well known for co-writing Gwendy's Button Box with Stephen King. And I haven't read that, so I don't know if that's a good book, but I'm kind of interested in it now. Richard Chismar also is well known for editing a lot of anthologies. I think he's edited over 30 anthologies, and he owns, I believe, Cemetery Dance Publications. And his son, Billy Chismar, is really known for writing a lot of short stories. I think he's also really into film as well. But yeah, that's all I really know about our authors. Uh, what I do know about Widow's Point, though, is that this was originally a short story, an even shorter story than this, and then it was later expanded and published in uh, 2018, I believe. Widow's Point is the story of a haunted lighthouse, essentially. We follow a writer who goes to this lighthouse for uh, the course of a weekend. He gets locked in this lighthouse, and we follow him as he tells us the history of this lighthouse, all of the accidents, and all of the people people that have died in strange, weird circumstances over the, the course of a uh, hundred years, over a hundred years. It's such an intriguing story. At its core, it's just a haunted ghost story. It's a haunted house story, but the way that this book um, delivers its story is so intriguing and I want to talk about that. The thing that this book does a little bit different is that it's told in video audio recordings, so in that way it's almost a found footage story and it gives you the vibe of the Blair Witch Project in a way and it reminds me of Cloverfield because you got the video recordings that come in and out and you're not really sure and sometimes it's video but sometimes it's just audio. What's going on here? I think that element of the story really pulls you in and it makes you that much more uneased. It really immerses you more into the story. It almost has this uh, screenplay element to the story, which I'll get to that in a bit because I found out that this was actually made into a movie. I didn't know that. Another thing that this book does really well is that our narrator, we follow him as he slowly starts to feel the effects of this lighthouse, of the weight of its history, because he's the one telling us the entire history of this lighthouse. We find out that when this lighthouse was first built that three workers had died. Later on there was a movie that was filmed here and an actress killed herself and then there was a massacre of a family here and then people went missing around the lighthouse and just so many weird circumstances took place here at the lighthouse and as he's recounting this information to us he himself you can tell is starting to see things, hear things, be manipulated and I think at the end of the day what's so great about this book is that us as a reader truly never find out if this lighthouse is haunted or if this main character is just getting claustrophobic and losing his mind because of the environment that he's put himself in. It's just such an interesting story to follow because we truly don't know what happens at the end. And ambiguous endings are sort of hit or miss for a lot of people, but I think with this sort of structure and the way things play out, anyone can pick this up and just have a great time reading this. Another thing that this book does so well with bringing you into the story is the illustrations, which I believe believe are illustrated by Glenn Chadbourne. Uh, he did so well with giving us images that are just so creepy and eerie and unsettling. It just made, when I read this book, I just felt so creeped out. Overall, this is just a haunted house ghost story and it's a really, really good one. I would recommend this to anyone that enjoys horror, anyone that enjoys haunted house books, anyone that enjoys anything that's almost multimedia because of the video found footage. It's a great story. It's really short. If you're one that doesn't like reading giant books because it takes you a while, this is perfect for you. If you love any books that are set at sea, this is also for you. It's just a really, really good book and I hope more people pick this up because I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this. This was also made, as I was talking about earlier, this was made into an indie horror film. And I watched the trailer and it looks really, really intriguing. So I might have to see, I don't know if it's out, if it's available to watch online, but if it is, I really want to watch it because this was perfect for a movie. I'm so happy that it was made into a film because the eeriness, the way that this book just pulls you in, it's perfect for a movie. So yeah, this is my short review for Widow's Point. I love this so much. It's one of my new favorites and I'm so happy I read it and I hope more of you decide to pick this up because it's really good. So yeah, that's my book review for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in another video very soon.